So my newest project is this vending machine, which I actually got for free because the owner said that it was shorting out. Apparently what happened, they'd been using it in their garage for quite some time, just as a soda dispenser. And one day it tripped the circuit breaker. And so wasn't sure what was wrong with it. The owner eventually plugged it back in, reset the breaker, everything started up, worked normally. And then a few hours later it tripped the breaker again. So they just got rid of it. And let me show you what I found out. So when I hear of a problem like that, like a, like a short, I like to inspect things first before I verify the problem. I don't just want to plug it in and blow my own circuit breaker or worse, have an electrical fire or something. So I just kind of looked at the machine and I've never worked on a soda machine before or a vending machine of any kind. So I just inspected the general mechanisms and right here is the, the AC evaporator coil. This is the part that gets really cold and gets a lot of condensation on it. And that condensation usually has a gathering pan underneath where it can all drip down and flow away to a different place. On your car, there'll be a plenum chamber, which is a big plastic chamber right underneath the evaporator coil. All the water will gather there and it'll drip down underneath the vehicle. Here, this whole really dirty uh, catch pan right here gathers all the, the condensation and funnels it towards a central point that has a drain hole, which you can see right here. And when I first pulled this machine apart, it was a kind of a black goo, like a molasses, all over the bottom of this catch basin. And I figure what happened is, so some of the goo was even, you know, up here. I can't remember which, uh, which dispenser it was in, but one of these had some of that, that black goo in it, some on the, uh, on the slide here, and a lot down in this catch pan. And then that catch pan drains down from that hole through this tube into a second, just this little plastic tray that just holds all the water. And there was a bunch of that, that black molasses down there too. So I assume what happened is that a soda exploded or many sodas exploded. And over time, they just clogged up this, this hole. And when the unit would start running, moisture would start to, to gather on the evaporator coil and it would drip down into this basin. It had nowhere to go because this hole was plugged and it just started backing up. And you can see this thing is pretty well watertight. There's a lip that's about, I don't know, half an inch uh, around the whole perimeter or at least around the front here. Uh, the perimeter's got these other walls and the water just started backing up in there. And if you look over on this side, you've got some wires. There's a, here's the thermos, the wires on the back of the thermostat here where you set the temperature and they're somewhat exposed. And these wires back here were just down on, on the very bottom. Now they've got a plastic shroud around them, little connectors, but you can see the back is pretty well open. Water would be able to get in there and short these two things together. So I was pretty positive that's what happened. So without verifying it, I just cleaned all that goo out and then plugged the machine in, started, ran fine for hours and days, and I never had a short. So pretty positive that was the main issue, the reason why they got rid of it. If you have that issue on your machine, I would suggest cleaning it out. Uh, if you want to keep it from ever happening again, you could fix these wires up with some tape or um, a little connector up here on the sidewall to keep them out of the way if water does back up because it can really only fill up to here before it would spill over the front and that would be that's not high enough to get to the back of the thermostat so it's really just those wires that need to be out of the way and then you'd be fine but of course you should clean it out anytime you have any issue like that anyway so i've never done soda machines before i'm more of a car guy but this was uh pretty straightforward just mechanical electrical components Pretty easy to diagnose, use, fix. Parts are pretty cheap. So yeah, this might be part of my repertoire going forward. Wasn't that bad of a project, kind of fun. Uh, I'll post another video on just a walkthrough of how this thing works, how to change the price and the coin vent mechanism, um, how all the different parts of the machine work. And, uh, and you'll be able to find that on my channel very soon. Uh, overall, really good project. Got a machine for free.
I think these things are worth. I've seen a couple that look a lot like this for around a thousand dollars. I'm guessing uh, this one's in fairly average to rough shape, so I'm guessing it's worth more like 500, but still a pretty nice margin. Got to learn a little bit about vending machines. All right.